All right guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna be doing a quick tutorial on how to do a bezel swap on a G7900 series G-Shock. So let's just do a quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing the vintage DW8700. I ended up picking this up in brand new old stock condition. Just take a look at that awesome animation. This watch just has a super, like that uh, that animation and that complication just has a super 80s vibe if you ask me. It's a really cool, rare, I would say a rarer, one of the more unknown G-Shocks out there. Wears really nice, a little bit smaller on the wrist, but let's get into this. So I ended up actually finding this uh, 7900 and I have grown to really really love this watch it's it really uh, is one of the I would say um, underappreciated G-Shocks out there it's it's a really really great model and uh, today I'm going to be doing a bezel replacement uh, just because this one is a little bit beat up, not too bad at all actually, but the reason is is I just I picked this up for so cheap and I just wanted to see the difference really of the the finish that ends up uh, on these well used g shocks and as you can see, it definitely takes on a more of a shinier appearance the brand new bezel is uh, very matte in comparison and take into consideration that sometimes when you buy these bezels they will not have any of these uh, screws or rivets and you'll have to pick those up separately and those go in like that as you can see and they clip in in a particular orientation to the bezel. So we have these Phillips screws here on the wings. We're going to be removing those and we don't need to remove the strap in order to get the bezel off. We just got to get these wings off. So let's go ahead and do that. So you're going to want to use a very fine uh, tipped Phillips head and those are the screws that we're going to be removing So that's what it looks like <clears throat> when you remove the wing. And as you can see, the strap is taken off from in between the lugs and the outer lugs are what secure the wings in place. Alright, let's get started on this side.
right? So now essentially all you need to do is find a particular part of the bezel where you can see a slight gap. Even if you don't, you're going to try to peel it away as you can see here. You see how easily that separates? So we're going to peel that off. So we're going to pull on it. Pretty hard. And you're pulling and lifting simultaneously to get over these buttons. As you can see how it looks there. And then it's just going to come off this side. Now, keep in mind when you're putting this back together, these buttons spin. Okay? So you're going to have to have them properly oriented before you put it back together. As you can see, this watch has seen uh, quite a bit of action. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned up, and then we will finish up the installation. Alright, I've got this thing cleaned up a little bit. And I'm going to uh, reinstall, or, re or should I say replace, the bezel. So here's the old one. As you can see it's taken on more of a shiny appearance. Still in great condition. All the lettering was all still there. I still can't believe I found this watch. Um, the watch was covered in paint. Um, I had to like kind of restore it but I have really liked the watch. And uh, here's the new bezel, brand new, looks looks awesome. And here is what they look like from behind. Alright, so let's go ahead and slide this thing on. So you're going to want to get the buttons in the proper orientation. Then you're going to want to align the bezel with the lugs. Okay? And it, it might take some twisting and manipulating of these buttons like that in order to get them in the proper place not the easiest it might even be easier to take the strap off during this part let's see if I can get it This button's giving me a lot of trouble here. Let's see if I can get that one started first. My apologies, this is difficult to do on camera. Okay, so I got that side snapped. Now it's just going to be a matter of pulling this side over. Let's see if I can get this. Alright, get the buttons oriented. You 
As you can see, they're a little bit closer to the cell. We're going to push. Okay, it looks like I have those two buttons upside down, possibly. So I'm going to spin the buttons. So you see here, I have to spin this button like that. Clips right in. Yeah, see, I made a mistake on this side. I have that button flipped, so I need to I need to pry this. Time to flip that. Okay. So that button is now flipped in the proper orientation. <clears throat> Let's just take a look here. I do plan on replacing a strap as well. I just couldn't find one for a decent price. I ended up finding the bezel for a really good price. But that's how it looks now with the brand new bezel. It's got a really nice matte black look to it. I'll throw the wings back on. there you go guys that's how you replace the bezel if you're either trying to restore and just bring back some life uh, to your to your older G-Shock and just uh, make it look essentially brand new the crystal on this thing is essentially mint um, it seems like G-Shock did a really good job because this watch is quite beat up but the the crystal is like in mint condition as you can see and it's because it's recessed like at least four millimeters so it really gets protected well if you haven't checked out the 7900 series I would definitely look into it It has some really unique features like the moon phase and a really nice display and it's got a really it's got a lot of depth to the uh, to the dial a really nice uh, retro look to it, I would say. I really like it, and it's got this low temp LCD. I don't know if you can see that there, all the way right up under Casio. It says low temp LCD. That's an LCD that can take extremely low uh, temperatures and still function, because LCDs at super low temperatures start the numbers start to become. Uh, not very legible, but I'm really liking the way this turned out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get everything completely reassembled. But I hope you guys appreciated the video. Just a quick little um, tutorial on how to swap the bezel out. So thanks for visiting the channel. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you guys want to see more G-Shock related videos, let me know. Here's another look at the DW8700 just look at that crazy animation but thanks again guys make sure to like and subscribe god bless